In today's video, I head out to my local trail system, Castle Hill, to see if I can up some skills a few days before I head back to Boomerang Farm Bike Club. Ah, oh, sick. Ah, oh, so much fun. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm out of my local trail system, Castle Hill. I really shouldn't call it my local because uh, I've only ever been here about two times. That was on my analog bike. First time I came here, I just uh, spent the entire time here at the little skills section at the bottom with some small tables and stuff. And the second time that I came here was also on an analog bike and I only did one trail, which was World Cup. And uh, it was when I was sort of first starting out, so um, it was pretty terrifying. It's pretty rocky, chunky, loose, um, sort of dirt out here. So I've never been out here on an e-bike. So I'm out here today riding with uh, Keith from Bearded Mountain Bikers. I'll leave his uh, Instagram on the screen here and the link to his YouTube channel in the description below. So yeah, I'm going to gear up, uh, wait for Keith to get here, and we'll hit the trails. Peace. So climb to the trailhead. You got your normal trails here, like World Cup and Inca. This one, I didn't even know was here. That's Pleasant View, it's called. And the climb up here was nothing. And most climbs are nothing on an e-bike, but I remember on my analog bike, it was a lot tougher, but uh, I've ridden a lot tougher places since then. So Keith's happy to be out here in the 12 degree coldness. So which one do you want to do first? Pleasant View, Blue Trail, going in blind. Oh, this is sick. Oh, look at that drop. This is so confusing. So we started on a trail called Pleasant View and uh, now we have no idea what trail we're on. So we're just gonna look around for a sec. So we found this drop yeah. in oh. the middle of the bush. Small little drop to practice on. I'll do this one. I just don't want it to snap in the middle. Roll up to it first. Oof. I don't know why these things are so scary, but yeah, I'll stick to the right also. Yeah, now it's my turn. Let's do it. Ah, oh, sick. Ah, oh, so much fun. Finally back at the top, and we're gonna do Inca first. And uh, try not to get lost this time, eh? Inca. Very rocky out here. Super rocky out here. Oh, 
we really take the wide line, eh? I'm going to take the inside line. Keep your feet on the pedals because it's so rocky. My foot came off. Just hit it. Oh, double that I missed. Another double that I'm going to miss. You're right. Oh, shit. Oh, man, this is pretty hectic. Oh, it's soft down here. Oh. I'm going so slow. Oh, it's so rutted out. Oh, this is nuts. rock in the middle of the trail. This is going to be the slowest run ever. Super tight. Oh. oh, don't go off that edge. Oh. I just hit my bar. Bill, five, fifth. B, Bill, B. <laughs> Taking the wrong line there. Oh, well, we don't know what's coming.
This one's a bit more hectic than... Please! No! Oh man, that was wild. Oh, and we're back at the skills park. You come out of Phil's to the little skills park here. There's a little table there. Good little table to practice on. Oh. Rowies. Yeah, definitely extra speed for that one. Oh, you junkie. See that other trail that popped off to the left? I don't know what that one was, but... Oh, what a drop. The problem with going into a trail blind is the drop pops out of nowhere and you don't know how much speed you need, you don't know if you can roll it or not. Oh, I nearly fucking washed out. Who the hell would do that? Let's do it. Once again, the GoPro never does anything justice, but there's this drop here. Super steep here too. Quarter of the way, midway down rowies. Keith's keen to hit it. So steep that even I'm having trouble walking it, but either roll down the center, down there, and then there's another drop down there. I think I'll roll it. Here he comes. Oh. Yeah. So. Like I said, just gonna roll it. Just gonna roll it. Continuing down rollies. Oh, oh shit. There's another drop. Oh. Yep. Hillbilly. Finally found it. Oh, it's so tight. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. I think that was that other one that we just passed the sign for. Oh shit. Treat. Oh. <laughs> There's a death trap. Oh, I nearly hit that tree. Looking at these rocks here, I'd like to take a moment to uh, give a shout out to Reedy. Get well soon, Reedy. If you guys uh, didn't see his crash in my last riding video, I'll insert the clip right here. Oi! We love you, Reedy. And we continue. 
Oh, rock slabs. Oh, this is some rocky shit. Super rocky. And loose gravel, which you don't want to wash out on. So what was that? That was hillbillies, man. That was nuts. We thought hillbillies was going to be like nice and chill. It was not nice and chill. Well, it's hillbillies split to something else, onto something else. <laughs> like I said, we're just figuring it out as we go. So we're going to ride back to the top and um, maybe do, do you want to do World Cup? All right, we'll head back to the top and then we'll uh, do World Cup. Back up the top. This time we're going to hit World Cup. I know World Cup's pretty fast, and there's like some decent features. Um, you want to loosen your skills. Keithy just bouncing up and down. <laughs> hey. But yeah, World Cup this time. See how we feel after that. Might even head back up the fire road again and hit another trail. We shall see. World Cup. Don't go ass up. That's a quick one, eh? It's rocky as hell, but it's super quick. I've pretty much dodged every double, every feature except that jump we checked out on the way up. Oh, yep. I hit that and it was so, like I hit it like not fast at all. I was like, man, you could hit that pretty fast and land pretty stable. But the, also like a lot of the rock drops or rock rolls, this thing just eats it up, man. Just straight over. We're back up the top again. We've done pretty much all the main trails. Um, World Cup, we just did then. Um, Phil's, Inca, Hillbillies, Rowies. I've got one bar of battery left in my bike. So we want to do one more trail to finish off today's ride here at Castle Hill. So yeah, that's the plan. Rowies, Andy's, director's cut, and then we're done. Yeah, so we gotta go here. Andy's. Maybe we're finally actually going down the right one. She's tight. Very tight. Apparently this is a two-way trail. Here we go. Oh man. Super tight, super slow. 
wouldn't be hitting this at any crazy speed, I don't think. Hopefully it opens up. It's a bit more overgrown than the other trails. Obviously the main ones like World Cup and Rollies and stuff are the ones that people ride the most. Log feature. A lot of overgrown trees hanging over the trail you got to duck for. Oh shit. Oh, front, front wheel nearly washed out. random rock in the middle of the trail it's not ideal I'm feeling it in the arms oh this is definitely quite a techie trail Way to finish off the day with a technical trail. <laughs> so just at the end of the fire road, you noticed Keith laying down. He didn't crash his bike. He tried to walk down this roller, in this little drop here at the end of the fire road. It doesn't look steep on camera, but it's pretty damn steep. And he just tried to walk down it and he went ass up. As long as you hang, hang back, you're sweet. Right, yeah. Nice. Comes Keith on this roller. Nice. All right, we're done. That was uh, Castle Hill. That's my local. We had a good solid five hour ride before my e-bike uh, ran out of battery, but five hours is a decent amount of time. I can't believe this is in my own backyard and I feel pretty silly that I don't come here more often. Now the first time, the first two times I ever came here, I was just new to mountain biking and sort of didn't know about trail forks and didn't know what to look for and stuff like that. And at the time, all these trails were well out of my uh, well out of my skill level, so I sort of avoided this place. But now that I've ridden a whole bunch of other places, I've come here today with Keith and uh, had a good time, real good time. So thanks for watching. Bikes and Bullets MTB TV. I'm Kyle. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share the video with your friends. Kyle and Keith, out.